Hello everyone, FungineX here. Welcome to Feed the Beast Beyond the FungineX Files. We are back in the overworld where I've done a little bit of work. I've uh, made a nice little path here. <laughs> I've made a farm of some canola and some seeds. There's no water in this farm. How did I do that? How am I pulling off this magical, wonderful mystery? That's the thanks to the earthworms. Earthworms you get by taking a, a hoe and just hoeing grass or dirt. So I just went nuts hoeing him until I got nine, and that fills up this large farm here. So we got tons of wheat, tons of canola, and now we're going to make use of the canola today. Um, also, I've done a ton of mining, a ton of exploring. If we look at the map, oh, that's the map, there we go. I've been out, I found a village here, a desert village. Uh, there was a desert temple, either at this one or at this one, there's a desert temple close by, so I looted that. Oh, there it is right there. Um, there was also another village here. Uh, while I was in the desert temple, it turned nighttime, and so all of the villagers here are dead or zombies. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> oh, but that's okay. This one's still good, and this one's still good, um, as far as if we need villagers. Uh, but yeah, let's go into the... Oh, I found some of these little cages. You can see I've found tons of stuff just by uh, walking around. Let's go into here, and I'll show you my mining expedicapades. We're going to start off by heading to the nether. Um... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm ready as far as gear wise, but I've got all iron enchanted with protection one a nice peridot sword with sharpness uh, I might want to find a bow just in case I need to get some more food because right now I've only rock and raspberry juice um, But yeah, we'll head down into this uh, mine that I made in the the dimensional world Don't mind the <laughs> the furnace was randomly placed along the staircase but yeah, we got down to here. I made an enchanting table. That was one thing I really wanted to get really early. Tons of cobble. And uh, yeah, look at all that. Oh, two and a half stacks of iron, half stack of gold, lead, and silver. Bunch of redstone. Tons of diamonds. I got really lucky with diamonds, actually, guys. Not not too hard to find. A couple of the extra modded ores here. Um, once you get the sapphires, peridots, and rubies, just make all your tools out of that. Because they're much better than iron, and they're... Much plentiful, more plentiful than, than diamonds, usually, although I, 25 diamonds, I don't know, maybe diamonds are more plentiful. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, but I do have my 10 obsidian ready to go here. And I, don't, I have 14 bows. I've got some string. Maybe I just make a, uh, yeah, what's it called? Bow and arrow. And we've got plenty of levels. So let's just take a few pieces of lapis and see what we can get on this thing. Power one, power one. All right, we're getting power one. <laughs> That's okay. Better than nothing. Let me put that back there, back there. Okay, got a few arrows. Not at least if, if I have a, some kind of gas floating around to be able to get it. All right, so while we're getting the nether portal put together... I went and got a flint and steel. Um, let's talk about the... Question of the episode, which QOT kind of like quote, so we're calling them quotes. Uh, I picked Vain Wolf twenty nine, and man, you guys, the response I got from um, from the first episode is crazy. Tons of views, tons of comments. Keep them coming. This is awesome. Always encourages me to make more episodes. So his question after we sleep here was: the seed was I want to believe. He noticed that. And the question is: Do you believe that somewhere in some other dimension of reality, Minecraft really exists? And what we do in the worlds we create become a reality all their own. Worlds that continue to exist even after we delete them from our saves folder. You delete the worlds from your saves folder? Why would you do that? These are real worlds, man. No. So, um, <laughs> I love the comment just because it, it fit with the theme of the X-Files um, pretty well. So, yeah, it was a more lighthearted one. You guys can feel free to ask, uh, you know, more serious questions, but I thought it was a fun one to start with. Um, do I believe that the X the worlds we create are actually other dimensions? Um, that would be cool, but I'm, I'm not quite that, uh, I guess, confident myself. I don't know. And yeah, we're just playing a game, man. Quit taking it so seriously. And I know he's not. Anyway. Comments that I'd love for you guys to put down below. Everybody in the last episode replied with their favorite um, mod. Um, reply with your hated, most hated mod. The mod that you, even if it's in a pack, you will just not touch. You guys all know mine. It's Ars Magica, right? So um, that's what I want down in this comments of this video is 
is there a mod that someone's made that you just can't stand? Either they would made it too difficult or too grindy or or something and you don't like it. So I've got a gas. <gasps> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that'll teach me for just hanging out here in the nether talking. Um, let's. Did someone just go walk through there? I hope not. All right, I'm trying to, I need to make a, a thing, so. All right, portal saved. All right, now we can go investigate. All we really need here is a bit of nether quartz. I don't have a, a pick that can mine um, cobalt yet, so we'll have to work on that later. Um, we might get a little bit of Tinker's Tools. I'm thinking about just skipping that and doing that off episode, at least the basic ones, um, just to start leveling up some things. I probably will. There is Ardite everywhere. Wow, this is not a bad spawn here. Um, but yeah, so again, just post below, is there a mod you hate and why? Um, what, you know, what do you hate about it? And uh, maybe we can have some good discussion about what makes a mod good now that we know what your favorite mods and, and your most hated mods are. I shouldn't hang out by the portal if that ghast appears. He's gonna wreck it. I can't believe that creeper didn't take out the portal. Um, yeah, we're gonna, the reason we're getting uh, nether quartz, obviously, for have it nether quartz, but no, we're gonna turn it into black quartz and use it in actually editions. I'm getting started with actually editions today. Um, I've done a spotlight on it, tutorial on it, so you can go check that out if you've never used it before. But it's it's pretty cool. There's a oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Go away. Man, those things explode fast. Wow. I forgot they were that bad. Anyway, let's get a little bit of glowstone while we're here. If there's no none of those super creepers again. Uh, and then we'll probably just call it good and for the nether. I'm not going to really look for a fortress here um, at this time. We'll find that another day. Um, but yeah, we're going to do actually additions. We're going to use it for our initial power source. Uh, we're going to use it for our um, first awesome tool. We're going to go ahead and get a drill. And uh, yeah, I can't remember what else was on, on par for this episode. Um, again, the theme being the X-Files, guys, I'm just not smart enough to like role play every single episode that way. Um, so you won't really get why I've called it that until, you know, a few episodes from now when we start building our actual base. You know, right now I'm just kind of holed up in a cave and, uh, and out in the open in the overworld. So we'll get there. Don't worry. You can still feel free to post what you think because <laughs> I, I was fun reading those, the conspiracy theories on where I'm going with this. Oh, so much juicy nether, nether quartz here. All right, that, we'll call it good as soon as we get this little pocket. Oh, it just keeps growing. Oh, and it always oh, more and more and more. There we go. All right, there's a little bit more here, I think, and then we're done. Never a little bit more. It's always a lot more. But this, this pick's almost gone, so I think this is probably the last pick I'll use of just materials like this and go for tinkers later. Or Tinker's next is what I meant to say. Oh, I was going to say we're done, but nope, three more appeared. Holy moly. Nether Quartz City, it just keeps going. Wow. This is a vein for the ages. Now please don't die in lava and lose it all. It's not going to end. It's just an infinite vein, isn't it? Okay, finally hit the end of it. We only have a stack and a half. That's... That's good. Back through the portal. Please don't die. Oh, we got a magma slime here. I'm gonna ignore him. Oh no. Gast wants to play. Please don't play. Please don't play. Go, 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 go quick before the gas comes. Whew, safe. All right. So where do we want to do this? Up here? Yeah, our canola's up here, so we probably should start up here at least and then we'll move it somewhere else. Um, actually, I'm not sure I have, if I have all the materials for it, but we need an actually, uh, dis actually this is reconstructor is what we need to start with. Um, and that needs iron, redstone, iron sticks, and black quartz. The only way to get black quartz in this pack is combining coal and nether quartz. You can't find the actual ore form of this. So we'll get like, I think I'm going to need at least 12. It's good enough for now. Um, we did not have the redstone, so I guess we are going to go make it in the mining world. That's fine. Um, I haven't chunk-loaded the overworld. That's a problem, because that means my canola is not growing while I'm in here. It's so easy to chunk world now with you know, when they include the mod that adds team GUI and stuff, because like you just join a team, 
map out your plots and then chunk load them. And it's like, <laughs> we used to have to build like, you know, railcraft carts and put ender pearls in them. And yeah, not anymore. Chunk loading is just part of life now. Alrighty, so let's get some redstone. I've got some iron. I'll get some sticks. No, just 32 is fine. Okay, so let's get one of these guys. Need to actually get my crafting table out. That would help. And we'll probably need a few more of those casings, actually. But there's our reconstructor. Um, let's get a little more space here. Just been branch mining, nothing nothing to see really down here. You can see, well, this is the way I branch mine. I did a long tunnel, as, you know, as far as I can tell I get bored. And I come back and I do poke holes every like three or four blocks. And I just look down them. That way I'm getting tons of ex um, exposure to different blocks. Um, but I don't have to dig as much to do it. So that's how I branch mine. You can see from the mini map I do it a lot. Um, but yeah, there's that. So let's put the reconstructor maybe right here. Now that thing needs power, so it's not going to do anything now. So we need to get our other stuff for power. Um, let's go with a canola press and uh, oil, gener oil generator for now. I think that will work pretty well. So start with the canola press. I have a huge farm of canola, might as well. Um, but we're going to need a nori crystal to do that. So that means we're going to have to get a little bit of power somehow to power this thing to get an ori crystal. That's fine. Um, so if we want to stick with the actually additions, we could just go with a coal generator. Um, which is right there. And that's two pieces of a charcoal or coal, another iron casing, and some cobblestone. So we can do that real easy. Not an oil generator, coal generator. Let's get um, three of these, I think, we'll need. And there's our coal generator. We'll just go ahead and stick that right on top. And uh, I want to do a few things with that, or else it's going to just shoot its power all the time. So let's put a redstone torch and right click with it, and it's going to turn to pulse mode, which means instead of going all the time, it's just going to go when I pulse it. So now I can get a button. Right there. All right, now I can control when it goes, so I feel free to put some. Yeah, let's just put some coal in there, that's fine. All right. That's gonna go, oops, I didn't mean to, no, I didn't mean to, ah, I didn't mean to push the button. All right, but that is building up, perfect. Um, we're gonna need some redstone and some iron, so let's get like, uh, maybe like half a stack of redstone. I need a little bit more iron than that. So let's go with like half a stack of each. Okay, I'll just throw that on the ground and hit the button. Nope, redstone, go away. There we go. Now we've got our uh, anori crystals and redstone crystals. So we should now be able to get the canola press. Where are you, canola press? There you are. I need a, oh, I need one of these guys. So we probably need a few of these. All right, I need to surround them with gold nuggets. No gold? Ah, man. Um, I use this uh, tiny coal, because then I can just like stick three in there and three in here, rather than trying to cook eight in one different thing of weight, right? There we go. Get me one more, that should be enough for the nuggets we need. And where did you go? There you are. Basic coils. Advanced coils. All right, we got the advanced coils. Um, we we're making our canola press first. And I think I'm missing canola now. Oh, and I don't have enough cobble. How can I not have enough cobble? Give me cobble. Thank you. This stuff can go back in here. So much inventory space used up. Okay. Good for now. Um, I guess we'll let's go up uh, back outside and get some canola. 
I think it's nighttime. This is, could be could be dangerous. That's 7.05. Sun's just setting. We're good. Get in there, get in there quick. I don't want anything to spawn. <laughs> Come on, world. Load. There we go. And sleep. Okay. So, canola, canola, canola. Not a ton of it growing. The worms do help make it grow faster. And I actually think I had canola in the other base. Oh, no, it's in one of those chests right there. Okay. But we've got eight. Should be enough for a little bit of initial power. Um, where are we? Here. Canola, come on. Somewhere. Did I turn it all into seeds? Oh, I put it in here. There we go. There's all the canola. It must be in here. 40 Oh, yeah. Look at all that. Um, the other thing is, my backpack, where is it gone? Well, I found the hotkey. <laughs> I've mapped it to V um, to actually equip it. It can be mapped to whatever you guys set it to. So right now it's equipped, and you can't really tell that it's on. It's not in a bobble slot. The only way you can really see it is look on your back. And you can see that mine is now golden. Um, that's because I've upgraded it. So let's hit V to get it back here. And you can see that the recipe for that was to um, just take my, an iron one with gold in a chest. The recipe for the iron one was to take iron on the, that thing. And you had two different choices on the iron. You could go storage emphasis, so it's bigger, or upgrade emphasis, so it has more upgrades. I don't really like a lot of the upgrades anyway for just a generic backpack that I'm using for storage. So obviously I went storage emphasis. And even so, it has 10 upgrade points, and it allows three upgrades and two additional upgrades. So... Yeah, we've got we got plenty really, as far as that goes. So let's get this. Uh, why is canola in my offhand? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know what happened there. Um, it's supposed. To, where are my torches now? Whatever. All right. But once it's on your thing, then you just hit B and open it up. And oh, I forgot I had all that junk in there from a lot, another mining trip. Cool. <laughs> I gotta clean that guy out. All right. So craft this canola press. There we go. And we can just stick it right down here for now. We're probably going to want like an automated farmer maybe at some point to uh, ha harvest this and put it in here. Um, but there we go. That's going to start up. And that needs a little bit of power to get going, doesn't it? Okay. That's a bummer. <laughs> Basically, once once you get power into this thing, you can put an oil generator next to it and it'll just power the oil generator. Oil generator power it. So it kind of kind of works out now. So let's go ahead and build um, the oil generator here. Uh, is that it? Two iron casings? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. I already made those. Oil gen. Missing cobble and canola. Thank you for that. I uh, should have some cobble in the bag. Oh, yes, we do. Sweet. All right, there's an oil generator. Now, you can actually ferment the canola and use it in the oil generator as oil, uh, and it'll work a lot better, um, but the canola itself burns just fine. So we just need to jump start this thing with some power. Do I want to make another just uh, coal generator? Uh, I just want to get the one I have. I'll be right back when I grab that one. All right, guys, I'm actually still down here in the, uh, the Dimensional World base. Um, the whole reason for getting power is to power a drill from Actually Editions. So let's get everything we need for that so that we're ready. Um, so the drill takes three diamonds that have been converted to diamantine, uh, two advanced coils, Anori crystal blocks. This is blocks of iron that have been modified. Um, and a drill core, which takes four more Anori, Anori crystal blocks. So I'm thinking I want to get a uh, ore duplication set up now so I can actually process this iron before we get further into it. So we're going to put a hold on this um, just for a few moments while we get that set up. All right, so let me clean out the backpack, and then I'll get everything ready for a smeltery, and then we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, put down the coal generator. That gave this guy its initial kick in the butt to start processing into canola. Canola went into the oil generator automatically, and that's generating 40 art of a tick and putting it back in the canola press. So this thing now has plenty of power to process all the canola, and we're completely backed up. So it should just uh, stop processing here in a minute uh, once this levels out. And then, uh, yeah, this guy... Even got a little bit of reserve power there. Let's get our uh, Tinker's thing set up. I'm going to put it right over here for now. Again, all this is a temporary until we uh, build our base. Um, let's see. What do we need? We need a controller, obviously. 
Let's get a few drains. That's extra. Uh, two's probably plenty for now. Um, two faucets then. Need a table. Need a basin. And a uh, tank. I think that should be all we need. The rest should just be made into bricks. And let's get this thing built. I'm gonna go with standard three by three. <laughs> it's like force of habit, right? With like, if we wouldn't have started out that way where you could only do three by three, people might have not done it that way, but since that was the way it was required to be done, that's the way we had to go. All right, so controller, where are you? Let's put the controller right there. Facing the wrong way. And we can put some tankage over here. And I'm going to put the uh, drains on the next level. Table, basin, faucet, faucet, and bricks. And I don't think we have enough to get to the next level. It would take 12. We have exactly enough. Wow, cool. <laughs> that was that was good counting. My goodness, perfect amount. All right, so let's get a little bit of lava. There should be lava right over here. Be nicer if I had a tank, but I haven't thought of it that far ahead, so I'll have to do that another time. Just grab one bucket for now. Is that aluminum? I need aluminum for aluminum brass, and I haven't found any yet. Sweet. <laughs> the only problem is now I don't have copper <laughs> to go with it. That's all right. Or is it three aluminum to one copper as well? I need three aluminum. Dope. Not going to help me then. Let's get that in there and we're just going to start processing all of our iron. Just make iron blocks. Remember we need eight iron blocks to get this thing going. That's going to take a while so I think I'm going to make another cut um, while this iron melts. Because you, you guys don't want to watch iron melt? Or do you? No you don't. <laughs> Alright, take it a cut. Be back when we have some iron blockage. Be back. Alrighty guys, we're back and we have a buttload of a lot of blocks of iron which we're about to use all of, but um, need to get a bucket of milk while I'm up here. Thank you Mr. Cow, appreciate it. And we'll head back down to actual distance because i got to convert a few more diamonds and these iron blocks into uh, Inori versions, or the crystal version, sorry. And I guess more redstone as well because we need a ton of basic and advanced, whatever those are called, I don't know. Let's head on down. Long way down. I needed to make a faster way. So let's get some gold. Probably need more nuggets here. Let's get rid of this. Um, we've got some minoris already. Got some redstone already. What was it? Oh, I need diamonds. Yeah. Diamonds. More iron. I think we're close. Oh, I need an egg. Uh, did I not bring a piece of wheat? Crap. I need two of those. Two into sugar. All right, you can tell I'm making a cake, right? <laughs> okay, so over here, let's let's start crafting this up. So we've got the drill. We're gonna need this guy first. So four basic coils. Didn't I have a basic coil? Where did I put it? It's sorted and now it's gone. There it is. All right, so more basic oils. Okay, that's part of it. <laughs> now the four iron blocks, and actually it's eight iron blocks because there's two sets. Okay, should give us this guy. Missing and more redstone. Oh man. Okay. Let's 
Now we can grab it. Drill core. All right, get out of my inventory. Um, so now we just need the three diamonds, right? Whatever. Let's use some sugar. See what happens to sugar. Nothing. <laughs> Wait, did that just change? I honestly wasn't trying to do that. What what did that turn into? Crystallized canola seeds. Okay, I remember that from... <laughs> That's funny. I wasn't trying. I was just trying to get stuff out of the inventory. All right, so we've got our drill now. That's good. That's good and dandy. We can get rid of this uh, pickaxe and the shovel. We don't need them anymore. We do need to put some power into that guy, so we'll do that uh, back outside. Um, but let's upgrade him as well. You see he's got all these upgrade slots, and I did not want to place a torch. Five upgrade slots. Um, speed 1 is really easy to make. We can do that pretty easily. Speed 2 is not that bad. It just retires the same stuff but a cake. Speed 3 takes in power, so we don't have that, so we won't worry about that. Um, silk Touch takes empowered. Fortune takes empowered. Mining 3 does not. And uh, Block Placing, I think, was bugs. So let's get speed one, two, and the three, the augment three. So that's an ore crystals and more sugar. I didn't grab enough sugar. A lot of people do this. They put their torch in their offhand slot. I'm not liking it. I tried it because I'm like, oh, that's what all the cool people are doing. I'm not really digging it. So I don't know how long I'll uh, keep that going for. All right, so there's drill speed one. That gave it a little bit of boost. Now to make the cake, we need wheat. And all my wheat is outside. All right, do we have everything else though if we do that? Let's see, four nori crystals, four sugar. No, we need four more sugar. Got the egg, I've got the milk. I can do this and that gives me all the milk I need. Put that in there, keeping tools in here. Keeps my inventory a little bit cleaner. Okay. So. I have all the sugar I need. Cake, just missing, I think. There we go, that's the recipe for it. So just missing three wheat there. And then the drill mining three augment. Missing four diamonds. So just a little bit of power I put in this thing from one piece of coal or a couple pieces of coal, <laughs> you know, gave plenty of uh, uses for that. Alrighty. Yeah, put a torch down. Yeah, we're not doing that. Nope, nope, put the drill in there. Heading on up. We might want to place the crystallized canola and just see what we get out of it. I don't think I've grown it before. I think it makes it work better, maybe, when you when you get the harvest out of it. Okay, please don't, not too many mobs spawn. <sighs> Lucky that that's immediate. I do have um, chunks claimed now and chunk loaded, so even when I'm in the overworld, the dimensional world is working. When I'm in the dimensional world, the overworld is working, so that's all golden. Plenty of iron now. And what we're going to do, oh, we were going to get some wheat. Two wheat? No, okay, I was like, I know I have more than two wheat. Make me a cake, please. Patty cake, patty cake. There we go. Drill speed two. There we go. So you have to have drill one to use two and one and two to use three. You have to have the three to use the five. So that's just how it works. Oh, can I? There's no way to charge. Oh, I need some kind of battery. Crap. <laughs> oh, man. What's the battery called? I don't remember. It's called... Where are you? This thing. Nope. This one. Nope. I'll find it. I'll find it. I know it's here somewhere. Energizer. Right? Yeah, that puts power into stuff, I believe. 
Okay, came back down to the base, made an energizer. I hope this is the right block. I just made the spot like two or three weeks ago. <laughs> I already forgot a lot out about it. It's one thing to, you know, kind of teach it, but another thing to like play with it and actually be in survival where you have to build everything instead of just grabbed out a creative inventory. But I think this is what we want, the energizer, I hope so. It looks like it's something that takes power in, or puts power out, I don't know, we'll find out. But we'll go ahead and throw this next to our oil generator here, and yes, this is the one I wanted. Okay, so throw the drill in there, holds 500,000 RF. What do we hold in here? <laughs> we only hold 50,000 in there, so it's gonna be a while before we fill this drill up, but it's okay, I can, I can wait. Um, that should be enough to go test it out at least. And so remember we do a three by three and uh, we have speed two on there. So let's just test it on this. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's so fast. How's the power doing? Oh, we're almost out of, we've almost used all the power. That's all right. We'll head on down and actually drill some good stuff here. But yeah, you can use your pickaxe just, you know, to do the uh, basic mining like this and then use this guy to like, once you find something good. Oh, it's brilliant. So much better than anything we else we have. Might take this into the nether as well and just start mining like crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, and we're out of power. <laughs> okay. Well, did we get everything done that we wanted to? I think we did, except for this really cool thing. Let's do it right now.